Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 63 minus 28 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 3 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 13, which equals 5. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 2 from 5, which equals 3. So the final result is 63 minus 28 equals to 35. 34 minus 28 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 2 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 14, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 2. Subtract 2 from 2, which equals 0. So the final result is 34 minus 28 equals to 6. 83 minus 15 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 3 minus 5. Since it's not possible to subtract 5 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 5 from 13, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 1 from 7, which equals 6. 6. So the final result is 83 minus 15 equals 68. 64 minus 37 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. First, in the units column, subtract 7 from 4. Since 4 is less than 7, borrow 1 from the tens column. This turns 4 into 14. Now, 14 minus 7 equals 7. Next, in the tens column, after borrowing, you have 5 from the original 6. Subtract 3 from 5, resulting in 2. Thus, the final result is 64 minus 37 equals to 27. Twenty-five minus seventeen is time to think. In the units column, we have five minus seven. Since it's not possible to subtract seven from five, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have two. We take one from the tens, leaving one in the tens column, and turning the units column into 15. Now, we have 15 in the units column. Subtract seven from 15, which equals eight. In the tens column, we now have one. Subtract one from two, which equals zero, because we borrowed one. So the final result is 
25 minus 17 equals to 8. 34 minus 26 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 2 in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 14, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 2. Subtract 2 from 2, which equals 0. So the final result is 34 minus 26 equals to 8. 64 minus 36 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 14, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 3 from 5, which equals 2. So the final result is 64 minus 36 equals 28. 74 minus 18 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 8. Since it can't subtract 8 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 14, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 1 from 6, which equals 5. So the final result is 74 minus 18 equals to 56. 22 minus 13 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 2 minus 3. Since it's not possible to subtract 3 from 2, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 2. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 1 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 12. Now, we have 12 in the units column. Subtract 3 from 12, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 1. Subtract 1 from 1, which equals 0. So the final result is 22 minus 13 equals to 9. 37 minus 19 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 7 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 7, we need to borrow 1 from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 2 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 17. Now, we have 17 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 17, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 2. Subtract 1 from 2, which equals 1. So the final result is 37 minus 19 equals 18. Awesome work, everyone. 
You've just completed 10 subtraction questions with two-digit numbers. Keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.